Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Backpack Business Lifestyle Weekly Coaching Webinar. Um, so last week I forgot about the webinar. This week I started the webinar an hour early. Um, maybe next week I will be, uh, I will remember, and I will start it at the correct time. Um, but you guys can always catch the replays. I know it's more fun to be here, and you get a lot more benefits because you can ask me questions as I'm going along. You can ask me questions about your business and stuff like that, okay? So let's take a look at who's here today. we got Carl, Jim, Rachel, and Russell. Um, because I'm starting this early, I'm sure that has affected people being able to attend. Um, people were probably thinking, you know, this was at 2 o'clock and not at 1 o'clock. Um, I also changed the topic of the webinar just like in an instant because we were going to talk about profitable, uh, finding a profitable business to build your backpack business around. And if you go over to my YouTube channel, you'll see I've already covered that in depth. And it's not changed, so there's no reason um, to cover that again. So youtube.com forward slash Liz Tomey. Click on videos. And it's... Right here, finding a niche to build your back to build your business around. Okay, so if you guys got on here wanting to know all about finding a niche, it's right here. Today, though, we're going to do something big. We're going to cover um, creating your membership site from scratch. Um, and I say scratch loosely because I already have a membership site, but um, I want to build it differently. So I'm going to be using the content from it. Um, to build it. So if you don't already have content, you, you can't do what I'm going to be doing today. Um, but I'm going to cover everything you need to know about creating your own membership site. I'm also going to start kind of a resources document for you guys. So as I mentioned certain things, I will put it in this document and you guys will be able to download this document with all these resources in it. Okay. So, first things first, um, I have a membership model, ba membership model backpack business overview um, post with video that you should probably, nope, I didn't do a video for this one. This is just an overview of the entire business model, okay? So, this is definitely something you guys should go through. So, I'm going to put number one, start here. This is a complete overview of the membership site business model. Make sure you read this and go over it before you do anything. And I need to format this. And I'll give you guys the link to that one. And the biggest issue people have with starting their own membership site um, is they don't have any idea of what they, what they want to do. So, ideas for a membership site can be found at, and I will give you guys links to both of these posts. Um, this one is the Membership Brainstorm Workshop. This is a video I did. There's just 28 um, different ideas in this one and then the other one is for 19 different business model ideas this is a text one and I think some of them overlap but that's okay that'll give you guys a great starting point um, for creating your own membership site so let's say you already know what you want to create what niche you want to create your membership site in you have an idea for it everything's good to go so I want to show you the actual technical side of me um, creating a membership site. I have a, um, a graphics membership site where people get graphics each month. So if we go to ReadyToGoGraphics.com, you can see the sales page for this membership site. Unless you've been hiding under a rock or a complete... Now, uh, I bought resale rights to this, meaning um, somebody else created it, and I bought the rights to be able to sell it. So right now, I have it joined now only $10, and I think, yeah, so it's 10 bucks a month to get this, and they get a whole bunch of graphics. Completely new to the internet. They get a whole bunch of graphics each month, okay? Um, so... 
the first thing you'll need to do is actually build the innards of your membership site. So you need to get some kind of domain name that's related to your membership site. I got ready to go graphics because these are ready to go graphics. I can take these graphics, edit them, and use them. And now is what I need to do is I need to create like a members area and start building my members area. Now I already have this done on this domain name, but like I said, I'm redoing it. So let's FTP to the site and see what I've got going on. But you'll want to get your, your membership, um, your domain name, and start building your membership site on it. So I think this is under... Uh, ready to go graphics.com. All right, so right now this is just a mess. I don't have it how I want it at all. I think if we go into members, okay, so I have it where it redirects back to the sales page if you try and hit the membership page. So members, okay. So when people sign up right now, They're taken to this first month of content and they um, can download the graphics that they got for this month, okay? So is what I want to do is I want to um, build this a little differently. I'm gonna be using WordPress to do this. We're gonna pretend like I've, I don't have a membership site. We're gonna start totally from scratch here. So I need to go into my cPanel so cpanel.readytogographics.com. And I gotta find my username and password for this. Now, your main domain name is where your sales page and everything um, should go, but I'm going to actually put this on a, in a folder. And I'm going to call this, let's go down to WordPress. I'm going to install WordPress because I'm doing this all with a blog. And I want to install it in a folder or a directory. And then we're going to call this, um, what folders do I already have in here? Members. Do I have one called monthly? I do not. So I'm going to call this one just monthly. Monthly. Site name ready to go graphics.com. Site description. Ready to go graphics packages for digital product creators. I'm just going to use my teaching password. I'll change that. All right, so everything else I can just leave the same. I'm going to install this. There we go. So now when I go to readytogographics.com forward slash monthly, we'll see the default WordPress install, okay? And now that I'm FTP to my site, if I hit the refresh button, we'll see the monthly folder. So is what I want to do now is decide on what I'm going to do to what I'm going to use, what theme I'm going to use to build my membership site 
and what I'm going to use to manage my membership site because that's two different things, okay? Um, usually, you can buy an all-in-one type thing that you can build your membership site with and manage it, um, but I have not found any that I like at all. So is what I use is I use Optimize Press because they have these ready-to-go templates for membership sites. Let me show you guys this. Optimize Press. Let me log into my Optimize Press account. I don't even think I have the theme downloaded. Let's look. I do have the theme downloaded. So is what I'm going to do while I'm showing you guys this because it takes Optimize Press forever to upload. Once you download it, you just put it in your themes folder. You cannot use the um, the function in WordPress where you can just upload your theme, Optimize Press is too big for that. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can just pick a theme and upload it. Via WordPress. With Optimize Press you can't because that bad boy is huge. Why is this not working? All right, so if we come in here to Appearance and Themes, A lot of times you can click the add new button and you can click upload theme and you can choose the file and upload it right here. You don't have to FTP to your site, but because of what I'm using, I have to, okay? And there's a couple of things I always do when I do a default or when I do the, the first install of WordPress. The post thing, I always get rid of all those, delete them out of my trash. And then there's a default page, and I do the same thing with it. So trash, delete permanently, and then we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to reading, I'm sorry, settings permalinks. We're going to select post name, because that's going to make the end of your URL the actual post name, okay? So I'm going to click Save Changes. And now finally, Optimize Press is opening up. All right, so if we go in here, see that's uploading good. And if you go to Marketplace, You'll see Optimize Press has tons of templates that you can buy and use. And what I really like here is the whole membership thing. Why are you not letting me do this? All right, so the marketplace thing is not working today, and I don't know why. It's redirecting back to Optimize Press. All right, so here's an example of all the different templates they have. These aren't the membership site templates I was trying to show you, but for, for some reason, it's not allowing me to get to the marketplace to show you guys. Of course it's not, because evidently today is the day for technology to be against me. Okay, so we're just going to let that ride. Trust me, this marketplace, you can go in there, and there's like categories for sales page template, templates, um, opt-in templates, membership pages, all kinds of things that you could possibly need, okay? And thank God, I already have some membership site templates downloaded. So all we're doing now is waiting for Optimize Press theme to upload. It's still uploading. So while it's doing that, we're going to do number three, what I use to build the pages of my membership site on 
press, and that will be optimize press. Let me find my link for that. I'd appreciate it if you guys bought through my link, of course. I'm going to give you my affiliate link. Optimize Press is awesome, guys. I absolutely love it. It's not cheap, but it works. And <laughs> tell you what, I have done, I've been through so many different membership site scripts over the last couple of years after um, there was this theme that I used that I loved. I'm very depressed about it. It was called Profits Theme. It worked perfectly. And they deprecated it because they didn't want to update it so that it was um, responsive, meaning it would show the same way on mobile as it does on desks, on, you know, it looks like regular computers and stuff. So they, uh, they got rid of it. So I need to find my pretty link here. So I'm going to see if my optimize press link is in here. I don't see it press. Oh, this booger's taking forever. So that's Thrive Themes. It's not the one I wanted to do. Let's do this kicks butt. This is kind of my central location for all my uh, affiliate links. So it should be in here. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we got going here. Okay, so that's still doing its thing. Now, what I use to manage my site is Member Sonic. It's absolutely awesome. So, what I use as a membership site manager, Member Sonic, and I got an awesome deal on it, actually. Um, I got you guys a 50% discount on it. So it's at backpack, lifestyle, forward slash, forward slash. Hmm, let's find out where that's at. We're kind of stuck until we can, until this uploads, so I'm just doing this right now. I could do this at a different time, but I'm just doing it right now because we're basically stuck until Optimize Press uploads. Let's see if I can find this, uh, pages, all pages. I know where it might be. I've started kind of a, uh, a resource for everybody, online business resources by topic. Let's see if I actually, you know, put it in there. Writing sales copy, blogging, here we go.
Where is that stupid thing at? AP hyphen admin. Let's check on this. Still uploading. It's a monster of a theme, but gosh, it does so much cool stuff. So, all pages. Alrighty. There's one more place it can be. Alright, you guys might get to see me uh, go totally ballistic here. So I am with Liz forward slash <laughs> Look what I found. All right, so here is the discount page, finally, for this. See how our upload is going? Still going. All right, so we got time. All right, so those are the two things I use to build my membership sites. Optimize Press, and I pick um, a template I can use to build the membership site, and then um, member sonic to manage it all okay so all we're waiting for now is for optimize press to download while it's downloading i need to I can leave that open i need to find my member sonic login information member sonic login That's not it. Sonic Drive-In. <laughs> that sounds good. I could use a Cherry Limeade about right now. If you guys don't have Sonics where you live, I'm sorry. They're like the best place to get drinks. Like, not like drink drinks, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be using the Member Sonic Pro plugin. Now guys, I've only done this um, a couple of times. So we're going to download this. And this needs to go into my downloads folder. And as soon as this behemoth of a theme gets done uploading, we can upload this one. Randall says, early crap, I missed the first half. I know, man. I know. I'm sorry. All, all we've basically been doing is just getting, we're, we're, today we're talking about building a membership site from scratch. Um, I just gave everybody links to the overview of um, using this as your business model. And then I went over um, two places where I've given lots of ideas for your own membership site. And then I've talked about what I'm using to build the membership sites. And now we're just waiting for that behemoth of a theme, Optimize Press, to upload. Then we're going to upload Member Sonic, and we're going to be ready to start building this bad boy. Let's go downloads. Let's go ahead and unzip it so we're ready to get it going. So here's Member Sonic. So we're going to extract a folder. And here's Member Sonic. 
This is going to go into your plugins folder, not your theme folder here. And I'm going to leave this open because I'm probably going to need the uh, tutorials for this. Randall says, I thought you were going to try cPanel File Manager. Meh. It's faster because it's one file to upload. Carl says, okay, and then I extract it onto the server. Randall, why don't you do a video showing how to do that? <laughs> Randall says, okay, you don't have to, man. I'm just saying that would be awesome, though. Carl says, what does MSonic add that Opress doesn't provide? All right, so Optimize Press, they have a membership plugin, but it doesn't work very well, and it's really, really hard to deal with. That's the, that's the short answer there. That's why I use MemberSonic with this. It just doesn't work great. Everybody's going on and on about Thrive themes. It, it evidently, so I've heard, don't quote me on this, um, you can build your membership pages with it, and it has a, a, a membership plugin. I don't use Thrive themes, so I couldn't tell you. This is what I use because I know it works. Randall says, Optimized Press is a rebrand of S2 Member. What? I've never heard that, and I know the owner of S2 Member. Oh, optimized member. Okay. Yeah, but S2 member actually works. It's just hard to use. And sorry, guys, I'm out working on the, the lanai today. It's like 87 degrees here. I could not sit in the house and work, so I moved out to the lanai. So you'll hear, like, you know, airplanes going over and hopefully no alligators in the pond back here. I don't know. I think it would be pretty entertaining if you guys heard me screaming because there was an alligator. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Would that not be pretty entertaining? I was sitting out here on a webinar one time, and my whole lanai is screened in, and there's like these little lizards that run around, and this great big huge white crane came up, and I saw him eating lizards, and then all of a sudden, he like flew up, and I thought he was coming through the screen to get this lizard. Bow lost it. Rachel says, well, you do live in the land of alligators. I do. It's so funny, you can just be driving down the road and you're like, ooh, look, there's an alligator by that pond where, wh what? There's people walking around that pond. Oh my God, they're going to get eaten. That's usually what runs through my mind. <laughs> All right, this thing is almost done uploading, guys. And a little more, a little more. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're going to go into plugins and we're going to upload Member Sonic. This shouldn't take long, but while it's doing its thing, I actually got to go back into Optimize Press because I got to license this thing. Optimize Press. So we're going to go to Appearance and Themes. And we're going to select Activate Optimize Press. I got to license it. Make sure I haven't licensed it yet. Nope. All right. So I'm just going to take this one. So copy to clipboard. Okay. And it's going to ask you for the API key. That's what that is. Click save settings. Come on, internet. 
All right, remember Sonic's all loaded now. So at this point, I really don't need this any longer. I can get rid of that. Guys, when you're working, only keep what you need open. I see so many people having like 25 different things open. You, you'll just, you'll totally confuse yourself if you do that, okay? All right, so like I was showing you with the Marketplace, I've already downloaded some um, membership templates. So I'm going to go and find those. And they should be in my WordPress stuff folder, WordPress themes, OPT, membership pages. Here we go. I'm going, now I have a couple of different ones. I have the entire passion collection, the entire M membership collection, and the course collection. There are, if you click down here, membership pages, there are some default ones that come with this. If you don't want to use those, you can for sure use ones that you um, download from the marketplace. So this is membership content, membership home, membership homepage clean style, membership lesson page. Looks like members, these three, these clean style ones go together. So this is class style. I think I'm going to use, get rid of that. I'm going to use, let's look here. I think I'm going to use the course one. Let's take a look what it looks like. So I'm going to open all three of them and click install now. And they should now be down into the membership pages. Yep, here they are. One, two, three. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to start by doing a home page. We're going to use this template. I'm going to call this members remember home and click create page now that's going to open up the live editor here and I need to create my page now I can if I want um, change this the logo for this um, I probably should let's take a look at what ready to go graphics looks like right now ready to go graphics.com yeah there's really nothing on here I want to use so for now I think I'm just gonna get rid of this so click OK I'm gonna edit this Ready to go graphics. Dot com members area. Insert. It's your hub for keeping up to date with the latest news, getting support, accessing the training. So let's click edit. help that you may need with your graphics okay so I'm gonna click insert and I could totally get rid of that if I wanted to now where it says right here next group call I'm gonna edit this
And I'm going to get our Facebook page here. I think it's, what is it? I'm going to actually use, I have a URL I use instead of the Facebook URL. So let's find that. I can't remember what it's called. Snippets. Backpack Business Mastermind. How appropriate, Liz. At Back Pack Business Mastermind.com. Insert. Let's see what that looks like. Now I wonder if I can use HTML in this. We'll see. A href equals quote quote. And yes, I'm using HTML. For those of you who don't know how to use HTML, don't trip out. I'm just making this clickable, hopefully. Businessmastermind.com. Let's see what that does. Yes, it's clickable at, and I probably put too many spaces in there. And I guess it's just going to be like that. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, all of this you can totally take out if you want. Um, I'm going to get rid of this bottom thing because I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use this community chat thing. Um, support. I could probably do a welcome video. It says, hi, welcome to readytogographics.com. I'm Liz Tomey and blah, 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 blah. Just might do that. So we can do this we can do like a welcome message so for now I'm just gonna leave that video there so welcome insert and we need some some kind of welcome message here hi there and welcome to ready to go graphics.com each month you will get how many do I give them each month introducing These are actually really good graphics too. <laughs> 10 different packages each month. Okay, so we're gonna do, you will get 10 brand new mini site templates and all include graphic covers too. Use the links below to access your first month set of graphics, training, and of course, if you need help, our support system. Okay, so I'm going to click insert. So this one is going to be edit. We're going to do month one graphics packages. Sorry guys, there's some kind of weird bird that's making some kind of weird noise out here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. This month you're getting 10 killer mini site graphics packages. Use these in your... Actually, you know what? That doesn't really make sense. 
That doesn't really make sense. So welcome. So I need support, the training. Let's see what month leave. That's for the upgrade. Let's do... Here's the month one. Photoshop training, GIMP training, action scripts, GIMP training. Okay, so hmm, trying to think how to do this one. Um, Frequently asked questions, support. Give me just a second, guys. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I definitely need a... Let's do add a new row. I'm going to do one column. Insert, add element, we're going to do headline, insert, Add an element, text, I don't want to do it on this page either. I want them to have the, the welcome page. I guess I could go ahead and make this month one and then have training and support. Okay, let's do it that way. Now, I haven't built that page yet, so I'm just going to have to leave that. So we're going to do... Text. It actually has a link in there. I just saw it. It's right here. So it's not going to work yet, and that's okay. Click here. And then this one is going to be... Training. Training. 
to help you use these graphics, we've created some great training tutorials. Click on the link below to access all to access click on the links below to access the training pages of training pages insert all right so this one is going to be gimp photoshop We don't have that page created yet, that's okay. And then we need to add another one of these. I'm actually gonna add three. I'm gonna add spacing between them. So we need a spacing element here. We'll do that 10, insert. So we're gonna have, and we're gonna edit this one, so this will be GIMP training and then we're going to have edit Photoshop training I do not like the way that looks at all. So Randall says, so regardless of the theme or membership plugin you are using, the basic process is build the content pages first, then add the membership plugin and restrict the content. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's where people get so confused. Is they're like, you know, I, I, I don't understand. Build your pages, then use something to protect them. Simple as that. All right, guys, I'm trying to make this look decent. Let's see if I can take some of the spacing out of it, if that'll work. And we may just go, you know what? Screw it for right now. I'll come back and play with it later. Update. Yep, I'm just going to come back and play with it later. Support. Edit. Having issue with a download link, have questions, need anything else, just hit up our support desk and we'll help you out. Okay, so insert, edit, and this is going to go to my support desk, which is at... I get open a new window. TP www.lizlive.com. Insert. Update. Actually. I'm calling it support desk. Sometimes I call it the help desk, sometimes I call it the support desk. You want to keep your language congruent. So we're going to do click here for support desk. All right. So now I'm going to click publish and save and continue. So now the first page of my membership site is built. Let's take a look at it. 
Welcome to the ReadyToGoGraphics.com members area. This is your hub for getting your monthly graphics, accessing the training, and getting help that you may need with your graphics. Graphic. I should do graphic packages. Um, Facebook Mastermind Group. Join the Backpack Business Lifestyle Mastermind Group at. Take some to Facebook so they can join the group. There we go. So that works. I have to record a video. So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Notepad, and this is going to be my to-do list for this site. So number one, do a video on the members welcome page. And I'm going to save this. Where the hell is Ready to Go Graphics? There we go. Call this to do. So that's the one thing I know I've got to do here. And this doesn't look too bad, so I'm I'm just gonna stick with that. Everything looks good. It's gonna look a sometimes it'll look a little bit different when you view it like live. All right, so I'm gonna do edit this. Just want to change the words just a little bit. And getting any help that you may need with your graphics and we're going to do graphic packages save and continue want to see your changes just go back to the page and hit refresh now during this I'm not going to build every page of this I'm going to build the pages that are right here on the front page which is going to be the month one graphics and then our training pages so I can get this all linked up. Um, and then I'll continue on with, actually I might do like month two, just so I have a couple pages and I can show you guys how to use the drip feature with Member Sonic and stuff like that. We'll do a few pages, okay? Right now though, I wanna take a break. I'm going to stop the video just so Camtasia doesn't eat it and then we'll come right back and start recording again. Okay, so you guys missed some excitement. Uh, my boyfriend decided that he was going to scare me. Thank God I wasn't recording, but of course I'm going to tell you guys what happened. Thought he was going to scare me. Didn't realize I was on a webinar and screamed to scare me. And uh, all he'd managed to do was just embarrass himself. That was awesome sauce. All right, so now we are going to um, build the build the pages for month one graphics. Up, oh, I see a spelling error and build the pages for this and guys it actually is what we might do is we might go ahead and cut today's webinar right now because we're at a really good starting point and continue on next week with building and getting um member sonic working i should have known this would take a long time to do um, but I want to show you guys every step of this. I don't want to do stuff off camera with you guys. And I know a lot of you guys only schedule these for an hour. Um, I do want to answer Melody's question though. She asked if I can find it again. Here we go. Melody asked, how does Optimize Member compare with Member Sonic? Is it okay to use? Yeah, it's absolutely awesome to use. I use Optimize Press to build my pages because I don't like Optimize Press member plugin. And then I use Member Sonic to um, manage and protect my membership site, okay? So I probably need to put this in here. What I use to build the page, what I use as a membership site manager to manage members and protect pages. And for those of you that missed this, um, I have a discount link for you guys where you can get this 50% off, okay? And I'll make sure and post these um, into the group, into our mastermind group. That way um, you guys can get access to all these links right now. You don't have to wait for this whole thing to, to pan out. But this looks like it's going to be a two or three uh, webinar event here, okay? I didn't realize how late it was getting. Melody says, why don't you like Optimize Press Member? Because it doesn't work and it's hard to use.
I see a lot of people getting on now because uh, the webinar was was scheduled for 2 p.m. And I started at 1 p.m. because I forgot last week, and this week I decided to totally screw up and start it early. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is a good stopping point. We are, I need to fix the, uh, where did I see that? Welcome, graphics. Maybe there wasn't. Anybody see where I had that? Graphic packages? I guess there's not a typo. Okay, perfect. All right, so got a domain. You got to get an idea for your membership site. Then you got to get a domain name for it. Got to get all your content created or at least a couple months of content created for it. Then you've got to start building your membership site. Remember, I use Optimize Press for that. And then you're going to use Membersonic to manage your members and protect everything. Okay, so that's kind of a recap of what we've done. Um, as I said at the beginning, you guys, I've given you the overview of this as a business model. Um, several different ideas for membership sites. And then the links to Optimize Press and my Membersonic discount. Okay, so any questions about what I've covered here? Any questions on what I've covered? Randall just brought up a good point. I could go until 3, since you guys didn't plan on being here till 2. But I've already had a couple of people say they're leaving. So let's just take questions, and we'll go ahead and break for today, especially since we're at such a good stopping point. This will just be part 1 of creating your membership site. And of course, I'll post this in the mastermind group. And if you guys have questions as you're trying to get an idea for your membership site or you're starting on building your membership site, you guys can post questions in there also. Any questions, guys? Last call for questions here. I'm going to close out some of this stuff that I don't need. All right, John, that's not related to membership sites, so give me just one second. I'm doing last call for questions on what I've covered today, and then we'll, uh, we'll take questions on general stuff, okay? I'm going to close out some of the stuff because we don't need it any longer. And the Membersonic plugin, it's actually really easy to use. I still have to use the tutorials to go back to it. Um, just because I haven't used it several times in a row yet. Pretty soon, though, I'll be able to, to do it on the fly. But when we get to Member Sonic, you guys will see me going and looking through the tutorials. Make sure you always go through tutorials with anything you buy that's techie like this. Okay, guys? Optimize Press has amazing tutorials. Member Sonic has amazing tutorials. That's where I learned to do this, through the tutorials. Um, I didn't have somebody come and hold my hand and teach me. So make sure you're going through these tutorials, too. Okay? And Randall says, soon you'll be able to forget the theme that will not be named. No, I, I, I really, I, I'm still devastated over it, as I was saying at the beginning of this. Um, the theme was called Profits Theme, guys, and they deprecated it because they didn't want to update it. I'm still very, very upset about that theme. God, I loved that theme. All right, guys, so no more questions on that. So if you have any questions on anything related to your business or what I'm doing in my, any questions at all that aren't like support related or related to um, like the personal stuff going on in your life, because I'm not a life coach, I'm an internet marketing coach. <laughs> if you have any other questions, now is the time to ask those. John is saying, I noticed most of your sales pages don't use videos that I've seen anyway. Any particular reason why? Because I just haven't got into it. Everybody screams and shouts about, you know, how good sales pages work with video. Um, I've done a couple of them, but my people tend to respond better to, um, text than video. It's like they don't want to sit through a video. They would rather read, which is totally contradictory to what everybody's saying. People would rather watch a video than read. John, what's your opinion? Would you rather read or would you rather watch a video? I personally would rather read, but that's because I hate videos. And that's for like tutorials and stuff like that. 
Randall says, life coaching questions should come to me. Yes, Randall's awesome. John says, it depends on how much interest I have. I'll do either. Okay. All right. Melanie's saying, since you have so many sites and pages, how do you decide what to focus on promoting slash traffic email to list about? It, it's week to week. It's whatever I'm talking about that week. If I have something that's related, um, I'll push it out. Or if I have an affiliate link for something, then I'll push it out. It just depends on what I'm currently talking to my list about. And sometimes it's just random. That's the great thing about business assets, like we went over in the, in the last webinar. You can have this big bag of business assets, and you can just go to it and pull something out anytime you want. And I have so many business assets, that's what I do. I go to my bag and I pull something out. She says, you do just let some of them sit there? I do. John says, you've made a boatload of videos. Any tips? Um, or suggestions for how to make a good video. The reason why I can do um, videos is because I use a script, guys. I've been doing this for going on 14 years now. Oh my God, no, 13 years. This is my 13th year in business. Started in 2004. Um, so this summer is going to make 13 years. But even 13 years into the game, when I go to do a video, and on webinars a lot. This one I didn't. I've done everything on the fly here. Um, but generally, I will sit down and write a script for everything I'm going to say in the video. Um, I'll show you an example right now. I'm working on a coaching program for the Liz Live, or the Liz Loves or Customers people, okay? So, we go in here. We're going to go to day four. So this is what I'm working on today. And if you guys look, this is a complete script that goes through the video. Now, when I need to show something, I will do a, you know, whole show the plan. Or, you know, if I'm talking about, you know, how to use an autoresponder, I'll say, you know, show how to use autoresponder. But it's prompts all through the script. But I have to have a script in my hand or I start getting sidetracked and I'm doing a lot of uh, 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 and that just makes for a bad video. So I sit down and write out everything I'm going to say print it out, and then when I go to shoot the video, I have the script right there. Now, sometimes I don't even use the script. It just helps my brain um, focus when I actually sit down and write a script um, and to show people. Um, that would be tip number one. Tip number two is to make them as short as possible. Don't fill them with a bunch of fluff. Just get right into the meat of things, okay? All right, guys, last call for questions. I'm going to get rid of all of this. John says, thanks, no problem. All right, guys, if nobody else has any questions, we will break for today. I will render this video, get it uploaded. I'll post it into our Facebook group with all of today's resources, so you guys don't have to wait for those. Um, and if you have any questions as you're creating your membership site, if you're going to be creating a membership site, be sure and come into the Mastermind group and ask questions, okay? Carl says, thanks for your time, Liz. No problem, guys. I'm just glad I was able to uh, remember today. Um, we have talked about getting me a shock collar, so when it's time for me to do a webinar, it goes off, shocks the hell out of me, and I remember to show up. <laughs> Seriously, though, guys, I do apologize for missing um, the last couple of webinars, and I'm definitely going to try much harder to be there. All right, guys, have a wonderful afternoon, and I will see everybody next week where we continue on building this thing out and... Uh, getting our membership site all set up. We might even do the whole sales page thing, hooking it up via JBZoo, the whole nine yards if you guys want to, okay? All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.